Shishin Keshna Onaginari, Thon Tonish to Erevalach, Agus Chucky on Kade Kesht, On Chach the Pierce Darty, led the hull. Kermaiga de a young Corley, um, Thamitik Maratha Lilwar Gerkim at the Yakta, the War Policy and Realtis, Agus Vinkenu Jira Horla, Jeru Horlish and Kosti Halwu, Fuer Agus Kadranta. The other side will agree that Charlie should not be sorry. Should not be hard with her. Now will add to be a good luck or fluff. At this stage, again, we have to show. Tony, we are living in the middle of a housing emergency caused by government actions and inactions. And your latest policy is to end the eviction ban that was helping to keep the roofs over the heads of so many workers and families. Given the choice between facilitating wealthy investment funds and corporate landlords or putting the needs of ordinary people first, this government chose to stand on the side of landlords and stand on the side of investment funds, and that's where your priority is. Many families, through no fault of their own, face eviction now because of you. These are people who have paid their rent on time, month after month, year after year. These are people who are already paying sky-high rents. Now there are far too, many, uh, far too few rental properties in the market to find for them to call their home. So they can't afford to save to buy, and those who might be able to buy a normal housing market can't afford the prices that are being asked in our broken one. These people, Thonish, just want somewhere to call home. But you have, instead of helping these people, taken a cruel and cruel decision to make people homeless. Those people being made homeless are being told by their local councils that they have no emergency accommodation for them. I have a letter here, Tonishte, from one of these councils, South Dublin Council. It was sent to my colleague Mark Ward, and it is very clear. It is one family who found themselves homeless. This family is made up of one adult and two children. The council have told the family that they have no emergency accommodation for them. The Dublin Regional Homeless Executive has told the family that there is no available accommodation for them. And this is before the eviction ban is even lifted. The family were told by the council to present at a Garda station for, I quote, a safe place to stay. Now, this is what's happening on your watch, Tonishta. This is what's happening under your government. Families are now being told by local authorities that where they need to go to stay safe is to the local guard the station. Yet you come in here and you trot out the slogans week after week that Fianna Fáil are the party of home ownership. It is complete and utter nonsense. This is a wealthy country. This is a wealthy country, but government decision after decision has taken the basic right of having a roof over your head away from an entire generation of people, thousands of people, young people who can't afford to buy, people who feel trapped in a cycle of cramped flat shares, of sky-high rents, of never being able to save for a deposit, no matter how hard they try, no matter how many hours they work. People are putting their lives on holds because they can't find a place to call home. Thousands of renters are worried today, are worried sick about getting a call from their landlord with the devastating news that their lives are going to be turned upside down because they are going to be issued with an eviction notice. More people are being and will be evicted because of the decisions that you took and your cabinet took this week. And families are being told what? They are being told there is no accommodation in the emergency system. They are being told that you should present to your local Garda station to keep yourself safe in the year of 2023. Shame on your government. Mm -hmm. Now, yesterday, our party leader, Mary Lou Macdonald, asked the Tisha, what are these families that are going to be presenting as homeless when you lift this ban to do? Where are they to go? Now, he wouldn't answer. Maybe you'll answer. Where are these families to go? Is it to their local Garda station, as the local authorities are telling them, as they tell them that there is no emergency accommodation in the system? Being she will win it, got in acht a hagna shock satir shot, con ni con on scale a osu, shin fearing it and the kester shot.
I want to say to the Deputy that he talks about coming in every day trotting out. The only people who come in here trotting out populist sound bites in relation to housing is the said Deputy and his party. I'm interested in solutions to the housing crisis, and we do have a housing crisis. Um, and, no, and, and I want to say this to the Deputy. We decided in Fianna Fáil over the last two and a half years to take the portfolio of housing, to make a difference. 10,000 social houses, close to 10,000 social houses were delivered last year. Close to 12,000 social houses will be delivered in 2023. It's the highest since 1975 on social housing. Okay? You talk about young buyers and what are we doing for young people who want to buy a house. The largest numbers of first-time buyers occurred last year occurred last year. We reached 30,000 new bills in housing last year. The corner was turned last year. That went from 20,000 to 30,000 in one year, a massive increase in building in terms of new houses. The young buyers, the help to buy scheme, how many young people benefit that, first time buyers? 33,000. What was your position on that? What did you say through the chair? You said the end of the year we should end it. In December. Where is the honesty in that? Are you seriously suggesting that you guys in December would have allowed the rent to, uh, ban to be lifted days after Christmas Day? That's the kind of dishonesty that I find reprehensible in terms of debating the housing crisis. Because it is a crisis. And why did we decide to lift the ban, Deputy? Because we do not want to make the situation worse. You, you spat out there. You spat out you're interested in the landlords. This morning I heard on Pat Kenny, Ono Brint, saying, I talk to landlords all the time. The Tiger Daw Have syndrome. You're in here demonising landlords for the last three and four years. You want them out of the market. But then up, up comes your housing spokesperson. I'm a very reasonable man. I will talk to landlords. I'm even talking to developers. Pierre Stoherty will come in and say, you're all developer-led, you're corporate investment-led. I mean, the hypocrisy that spews out of what you're saying. But it has nothing Please, to do the, the with the reality no, of the delivering on the ground. So, Tony, sir, sir. Listen. Please. Without interruption. Without interruption from anyone. I th th the bottom line here is, we need supply, supply, supply. That is the fundamental way to deal with this crisis. And, that, and in the context of the, the rental sector, we need to do two things. We need to attract more people into it. We do need more people to provide housing for rent. The rent eviction ban, if it was to continue for the next two years, and if we're honest, that's what we would have to do, not to next December, as you're pretending, because you know damn well it wouldn't be lifted in December. You'd have to go the full two years. Supply is the issue. It okay, would, Garaga, I think, Tom irreparably Tom damage Tom supply Tom Tom to the rental market, which would be to the detriment of people who would end up homeless Garaga. and to the detriment of people seeking housing. Well, Tanisha, you. in your four-minute diatribe, yeah. what you didn't answer was the question I put to you, or the question that Mary Lou Macdonald put to the teacher yesterday. Where are these individuals going to go? Now, you may want to focus on me or Ona Bryn or whatever. I'm focusing on people like this a parent with two children where the Dublin Council has told them there is no emergency accommodation for them, available in this authority, where the Dublin Regional Homeless Executive has said there is no available accommodation in the county for their family size, where the local authority said there are no options, no vacancies in the hotel system, your constituents should present to their local guard the station for a safe place to stay or ask family or friends. And if it wasn't for the intervention of my colleague Mark Ward, that is exactly where that family would be, on the floor of a Garda station. Now, Tanishke, this is before you made a cruel and heartless decision to lift the ban. There are thousands of evictions that will come live in the next number of weeks and months. I have a simple question for you. Where are they to go? Because local authority after local right, authority so are telling us there are no I'm emergency sure. accommodation. You've made a conscious decision Time to make up, them Deputy, homeless, please. knowing that there is nowhere for them to go. That is the reality, and you can spin it as much as you want. Answer the question. Time where are these up, families Deputy, supposed please. to go? Tarnished We've him. already decided, and you know this too, immediate measures, over 3,000 additional uh, homes to be provided through 1,500 acquisitions in the context of the in situ 
um, uh, directive that the Minister uh, is issuing uh, to local authorities. Basically, that local authorities, where a person is in difficulty or under the threat of eviction, the local authority is to purchase that house. That directive is going up to 1,500 uh, have been provided in that. Further 1,000 houses or, or apartments to be leased. Uh, that is in addition to that already provided for uh, in Housing for All as a result of Cabinet decisions um, last Tuesday. And in, in terms of the CAF funding adjustments, another 1,000 uh, units to be provided, again facilitating uh, those who could be in, in, in under difficulty. And then the opportunity to buy uh, initiative on top of that, whereby uh, first call would be on the tenant or indeed after that then and approved. You asked the question, you asked the question, I'm giving the answer. You asked the question, you asked the question, I'm giving it the answer. In the real world you said that was dealt with. That was dealt with though. That was dealt with. Deputy Doherty. That was dealt with. You said it was dealt with. Sorry, Tony. Would Deputy Doherty please have some respect for the Chair? The opportunity to refuse, no, the first refusal to the tenant and then an approved housing body. And that is, I think, an initiative that is very important in terms of enabling people to have alternatives to being homeless. And plus then, the transition to a cost rental option also. Would you please... Would you like me to suspend the House, if you're going to keep this interruption? Would you like me to suspend the House? Because that's what I will do if you persist. I uh, do not provoke me, please. Deputy Holly Kearns.